This week on Wanderlust Wednesday, I go shopping. I get traumatized by pseudo strippers, and I eat more food. What else is new? Since there are like eight meals a day on a cruise, I decided I'm just always gonna take the stairs. I'm going down to the third floor. Let's see, I'm on four right now. Good morning. Which way are you going? We, we took some pictures early. Oh. I have no idea where you go. <laughs> okay. I think that I heard them mention Deck Nine when they took the welcome pictures, but I, I haven't seen any of the pictures yet. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm more towards the front of the boat and I gotta get to the back somehow to the Washington dining room. Open seating breakfast is being served in the Washington dining room. For your convenience, a buffet breakfast is being served at Lido Rosie's restaurant, Pac 9. This isn't the Washington dining room. Alright, you are here. I want to go aft. Uh, uh, how do I get there? That's aft. I promise I have a reasonable sense of direction, but the thing about a cruise ship is that not every floor goes all the way across, so I'm not a crazy person. Well, I am a little bit crazy, but anyway, keep watching. All right, I gotta figure this out. So it's... What? Oh, that's an alarm. <laughs> it's like, how's he getting a phone call? Um, I just came back from breakfast. I don't even know, I didn't even ask the names of the people I was sitting with. Uh, but it was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five other people, older people, talking about how irresponsible my generation is, and I agree. And, but yeah, I had an omelet, it was good, some toast, tried to eat a grapefruit, nah. And uh, yeah, so just getting ready to head to this cruise information session about what you can do at the different ports. It's pretty awesome that I'm out on the open sea. I gotta get up and see a sunrise one of these days. All that jazz. Um, I'm a registered dietitian to be, so if you have any food and nutrition related questions, I'm here. You'll find me anywhere there's food. And uh, probably with a camera, if you see me vlogging, I'm just documenting the great time that I'm having with all of you. So this is Bonnie Verbag. Ah, apparently I can't read. Her name is Ver Barg, not Verbag. So she writes character building children's books and she gave me a really good idea about kind of collecting stories relating to food because I mentioned that I was interested in writing children's book just to pique kids interest in food <clears throat> and different produce and stuff like that. So um, yeah, she suggested that I talk to my grandmother, talk to her and see what kind of stories around food and farming and you know who knows what what could come of this so that could be really cool and not necessarily that the stories all have to be true but just as sources of inspiration so i'll definitely be sending her an email she's bonnie verbag the trouble with food vlogging is that i always wait until i'm like immensely hungry and then i eat my food and say oh oops but this time i remember so i got a burrito from the burrito bar it has black beans yellow rice, peppers, and onions, tomatoes, lettuce, guacamole, sour cream, and cheese. And it came with a side of chips. Oh, and I got some, I don't know what this is, some type of salsa. So, hopefully it's good. awesome thing about a cruise ship is that there is no light in your cabin so after lunch had a good nap now I'm off to find the shopping hey Owen 
<laughs> they even got something for you. How crazy is that? But they don't have my name. And they have a space for Ryan, but is it sold out? Let's see if there's one for Kyle. I already know there's not one for me, but then. Hmm. Peril's having a unique name. I'm looking at watches and trying to decide which one. There's some Anne Klein watches here. And they have this watch for 65. They also have this watch for 75. I like this one. I like both of these. Let's see if I see any others. This black ceramic face is nice too, but I already have a black watch. This is the watch I ended up with. I think I might need to have one more ring taken out. That's not too bad. We'll see how I feel. They said I could come back and they'll take care of it if I want. So now I don't have to guess what time it is. And I'm hanging out here on the Lido deck where the pools are. One of the pools are, and where a lot of the buffets and grills are. Um, I finally put the strap on my camera, so it's not a hassle to carry around. I didn't have the straps on it before, so I had to hold it in my hand. But I'm sure you can't hear me because all you can hear is Sweet Home Alabama. So I will be signing off for now, and I don't know, we'll see what else I get into. I can tell that we're going west because the sun is going down and it is directly behind me and I'm in the back of the ship. Watching the waves that we're creating and the breeze is nice and this seems like the place to be if you want to chill and read a book on this deck. I guess there's one higher up. Right there. What is this exactly? What is what is this supposed to be? A swan, I guess? Hmm. I guess that's the best I can come up with. We just spent a million dollars checking and sending emails. Um, and now it's time to get ready to eat. We wandered around the ship. I got another link taken out of my watch, so now it actually fits. Like, what a novel idea, owning a watch that fits. And now we're getting ready for dinner because I am hungry. Are you hungry, Kyle? Yes. <laughs> you see this killjoy I've been with? No. <laughs> Hopefully now he's handled his nut allergy and can have some fun. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Kyle's not done primping. Not done what? Primping. Yeah, I forgot my eyebrow lashes. <laughs> my eyelashes. Ooh, nice catch. I'm wearing, this is my cruise elegant um, black whatever. With the black belt I wear with everything. Black flats. Black headband. Black skin. <laughs> well, brown. Close enough. Kyle is sweeping his hair. He's disgruntled about his outfit because he wanted to wear something else, but the line for the um, the line for the iron in the laundry room got really long. So I just want to eat. That's all I want. Kyle is like. I should be three times the size that I currently am, which is probably true, but the last time I ate was like eight hours, seven hours ago, so. True. Yeah, eight, that was at what, one? Yeah. It's eight o'clock. Oh, sleep. <laughs> All right, so heading to dinner, later.
this with a bunch of people from the marketing conference that are out at this pizza pizza pirate place. Um, I'm way too full <laughs> to eat any pizza, but Kyle's here. I guess looking for some friends. I'm so tired. It's way past my bedtime. Tomorrow in Cozumel, I'm going parasailing with Kyle. That's gonna be really, really fun. I'm excited. And uh, yeah, what else? Probably barely see me. Turn on the light. Yeah, that was that was pretty much the deal. I'm like, as an introvert, or I think I'm an introvert. And then on top of that, somebody who operates when the sun is out, like. I don't know, normal people should, in my opinion. To go to a late night mingling networking event is like, it takes every ounce of energy for me to strike up a conversation with someone. And in fact, oh no, I guess I did strike up one, initiate one conversation, but I'm, I, I can carry a conversation. I just, to put myself forward and have the com start the conversation it's always a challenge for me and it does take like <laughs> it's weird to say it but it takes like emotional energy and I just don't have any left because it is almost two o'clock in the morning so I had fun though I didn't have any pizza because I feel like I just had dinner so I'm gonna hit the sack and for all those that say you, when you're on a cruise, it doesn't feel like you're on the water, lies. I think the water has been relatively calm, but I definitely, like, there was obvious swaying um, from dinner, and you notice it more in the back of the ship. I think the because that's where, like, the propellers are, but in the back of the ship is where dinner was and where this pizza and profits thing was, so it was really challenging. I'm like, am I sleepy? Is that why I'm about to fall over? Or is it because the boat is moving so much? But anyway, it was good. It met some nice people, and I am excited for tomorrow. The cruise is really shaping up nicely and meeting some really nice and knowledgeable people, so it's been well worth it so far. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe because there are more videos coming. Every Wednesday is Wanderlust Wednesday here on Carlene.tv. And next week I go parasailing and I know there's karaoke coming up. If you want to know more about how I have the time and money to travel so often, as usual, you can check out my other channel called Flight to Freedom, where I get into all the details of how I make that happen with my friend Angela. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here next Wednesday. See you soon.